I just wanted my potatoes to be international, so I just got the portal from New York to Dublin shut down. I thought the people of Dublin deserved to see two New York homegrown potatoes. Who doesn't love boo? People that found it insensitive and inappropriate probably never get laid. I have no shame at all. I made $100,000 in a week. I made a video last week talking about why we see the continued degeneracy of the generations as the years goes on and I think one of them is because we incentivize bad and asshole behavior. We do it all the time. We make some of the lowest of the low really rich and famous <laughs> in our country. And I'm not going to go through all of the players here but um, it brings me to one of the trending stories from a few days ago where these this portal, when I first heard it though, when I first heard the word portal a portal like Manhattan opens a portal to Dublin Ireland and I was like what the fuck 666 in hell is this and then I realized it was just basically a giant FaceTime that was constantly running like 24 hours so people can literally just say hi and talk to and I don't know if you can hear but you can visually see each other and I actually think that it was kind of cool once I realized what it was and it was supposed to be something wholesome to once again you know bring us together like wow I can literally sit here and see another fucking country like how far have we come in technology but leave it to Americans to expose our degeneracy to the rest of the world and get it fucking shut down. That futuristic structure is a portal to the old world. The portal is a live video link between Manhattan and the city of Dublin in Ireland. It just reopened after some very inappropriate shenanigans. <laughs> The portal is a place where people are supposed to connect with folks 3,000 miles away in Dublin. They dance in Dublin, they dance in New York. They wave to strangers in New York, they wave to strangers from Dublin. Unfortunately, they also did other things like this knucklehead, but nothing beats the wild antics of this woman in New York. She lifted her shirt and flashed stunned onlookers in Ireland. The portal was shut down soon after. Now, I think it was two separate reasons why it got shut down, but one of them is because an OnlyFans girl, a model, I guess model is a stretch, but an OnlyFans girl basically flashed her boobs to all of I believe Ireland and without the care if there was minors or anybody that this would trigger them or hurt their sensibilities whatsoever without the care super super entitled and egotistical and just self-centered flashed her boobs and yeah it, it, one of the reasons why I got something that was supposed to be wholesome and bring us together shut down now I don't know if it's for good but it's probably for good I hope whoever invested money in that got their money back for it because damn that was a short-lived thing we can't have anything nice but my point is from the beginning of the video where I said degenerate behavior gets rewarded is that this girl made 30 grand in two days according to her anyway she made 30 grand she made sometimes some people's salary unfortunately some people's salary living in america right now 30 grand in two days for acting degenerate in public by exposing herself to possibly children without a care in the world and she was rewarded for that behavior people are going to see her people are going to see what she did and go oh I need to pay my fucking 30,000? 30,000 in two days? Why wouldn't I wanna do that? A lot of people drag, and even me, drag OnlyFans girls or these weird NPC people on TikTok that act like they're literally signing up to be NPCs and mindless, making hundreds of dollars a day, sometimes in an hour. I watched someone do the NPC thing on TikTok and they were making two to $300 an hour not a day everywhere i go i see this one type of stream okay and it's called npc tiktok prepare yourself because it's truly the most groundbreaking streaming content of all time mm, ice cream so good gang 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 yes 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 gang 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 mm, ice cream so who the fuck is actually watching this at first i thought she had tourette's but it turns out that she's saying things depending on what emojis people donate and she does this for hours and now literally every mother on this app is doing it. It's pretty obvious that streams like this cater to some weird waifu NPC fetish, but I don't know what's more pathetic, the person that makes this shit or the people that watch it. Content is fucking awful, but it only exists because there are degenerates that financially support it. But at the same time, people making this content clearly lack any self-respect. Like, how much money is she making? People are struggling financially right now in America, in the West, across the world. Gas prices, inflation, rent, like people are financially screwed and when you see someone even if it's degenerate 
even if it's low IQ, low vibrational, doesn't really add any substance to society or add any value to someone's life, but they're making money hand over fist. Why would someone want to continue to struggle at a nine to five as of literally draining their soul? Like even if doing an NPC or OnlyFans is draining your soul, at least you can do it for an hour and make the same amount of money you would make in a month, two months, three months, or a year. You can't be mad at them. You wag your finger in shame. But honestly, you can't be mad at them because I understand. I would never do it. I have too much pride. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, and I'm not really an opportunist, which really I wish I was because I would be in a better financial position if, if I was an opportunist, but I'm not. God did, just didn't make me that way. But trust me, when I hear stories about some girl selling her feet on feet finders and making five, $600 a day or thousands of dollars a month for just putting her feet on the internet, I'm telling you, I, it's a little bit demoralizing. It's a little bit demoralizing to work hard on something that you think is, is, is doing something, you're speaking your truth, you're helping people, you're bringing community together, you're working really hard on something that's your passion, and you're struggling financially to see someone act like a complete idiot and make 30 grand in two freaking days. I don't know how you fix this because I can't blame people for doing that, especially when people are financially struggling right now, when student debt is up to people's eyeballs, when people see their parents who struggle their entire life and can still barely make ends meet, but see their friend, their 19 year old friend shaking her boobs and making three times as much as that. Fuck values, they would think. Fuck morals, principles. Fuck. I can make so much money and if I'm smart enough, I can invest it I can save it you can't blame them again I don't know how to fix it the only way I can think to fix it is lower the fucking cost of living and reward hard work not reward hard work with now you got to get a second job now you got to get a third job your mortgage is going to go up your rent is going to go up your insurance is going to go up your salary isn't going to go up the inflation is going to go up. Gas prices is going to go up. Reward hard work and lower the cost of living is the only answer I got. But you cannot sit there and be mad at people acting degenerate when it's constantly financially rewarded. That's all I have to say. <laughs> That's all I have to say. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And if you would like a picture of my feet. <laughs> JK, joking, not really. It just DM me on Instagram. Just kidding. Anyway, like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell to get the notifications when I do upload. All that really does help with the algorithm, guys. And if you'd like to support the channel, please, for the love of God, donate. My PayPal and Cash App link is in the comment section down below. Or you can support the You guys have an amazing, beautiful day. Bye.